All right, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to download SDL2 and link it up to NetBeans to create SDL2 projects using C++. To get started, run a search for SDL2 and then click on the main page here. You're looking for libsdl.org. Down toward the bottom here, we have a download tab. Click on SDL releases. And then under development libraries, we want the second option, the SDL2 library for MinGW. This is going to come in as a tar.gz file. If you don't have a way of extracting that, I recommend installing 7-zip first. So I'm going to open this with 7-zip and then double click on this file and click extract. And I like to put this directly on my hard drive. So C colon backslash. Once that is done extracting, we'll go to that folder now. Should be the SDL2 folder with the version number on it. This comes with two different versions. We have the 32-bit version and the 64-bit. The i686 is the 32-bit version. You can just delete that. The next thing we want to do is wait into the x86-64 version, the 64-bit version, and I'm going to change a few things around in here. Go into the include folder, and then we have an SDL2 folder here. Right click on that and rename it include. And then back up, and we're going to rename the include folder SDL2. Next, we're going to take these other three folders and drag and drop them into the SDL2 folder. So inside the SDL2, you should have these four. Back up, right click, and copy this folder. And then I'm going to paste that directly on my C drive. So paste it there, and then you can delete the one that has the version number. In NetBeans, we're going to create a new project, a C++ project. If you have not installed the C++ plugins, and uh, if you don't have C++ working yet in NetBeans, you need to do that first. You're not going to be able to do anything with SDL without it. So I will put a link to my C++ video in the description below. I'm going to call this SDL2 demo. And to link this up, we're going to right click on the project, go to properties, click on C++ compiler, and then where it says include directories, we're going to click these ellipses on the right and click add. And then we're going to navigate to that SDL2 folder. So once you're inside there, click on include and click select. Click OK. And then we're going to click on the linker. And where it says additional library directories, click on the ellipses. Click add. We're going to back up one folder. Click lib and click select. And click OK. And then the last thing to do to link this is to click on this additional options down here. Click on the ellipses. And then we're going to type dash L min GW 32. Press enter. Dash L SDL 2 main. Enter. Dash L SDL 2. And then click OK. And click OK. And that has this all linked up. We're going to click on our source file over here, uh, clear out the comments, zoom in a little bit so you can see this better. And I'm going to change this header file to sdl.h. And when I change that up there, it brings in a macro for main. So this may say that you have an error. Uh, you can fix that by right clicking on the project 
go to code assistance and then hit reparse. Um, also, if you build the project, that should fix it. The first thing we need to do in the code is initialize SDL. So I'm going to call SDL underscore init. And then inside here, type SDL underscore init underscore everything. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is create our window. So SDL underscore window. That's a pointer. And I call it win. And then we call this function SDL underscore create window. You can press control P. It will pull up a tooltip with all of the arguments that are expected for this function. The first is going to be our title. So just type any string in here. I'll put demo. The next are our X and Y coordinates. I'm going to use a macro that is SDL underscore window POS underscore undefined. Comma. And for the Y position, you can hard code a number here if you want to. Um, it's just measuring down in pixels from the top. But I'll use that same macro again. Window position undefined. And then we need a size for our window. So I'll do a 500 by 500. And the last argument is going to be, uh, you can put different flags in here to make your window borderless or full screen but we're not using anything special for this so just put a zero so now we have our window the next thing is going to be our renderer sdl renderer pointer and i call this ren we set that equal to sdl underscore create renderer And this function takes three arguments. The first one is our window pointer. The next is a negative one. And the last one is another macro. It is SDL underscore renderer underscore accelerated. And at this point, we've got a few errors showing, but you should be able to build the project. It won't run, but you should be able to build it successfully. And as long as it says build successful, then you don't need to worry about these uh, errors right now. And it looks like they went away anyways. The next thing we're going to do is set a draw color. So to do that, I'll call SDL underscore set render draw color. And we'll pass in the renderer. And then if we need four integers. It's going to be in a range from 0 to 255 and these will be red green blue alpha so for red just put some number in here I'll put 200 0 0 and then 255 for the alpha that means fully opaque although the alpha does not matter unless you have blending enabled then we're going to clear the renderer so SDL underscore render clear pass in the renderer and then we'll call render present. This shows everything to your screen. It basically updates your window. And pass in the renderer. And then I'm going to put a little bit of a delay here so that we have a few seconds to see the window before the program ends. So to put in a delay, it's SDL underscore delay. And then for two seconds, you'll type 2,000. That's 2,000 milliseconds. And build the program again. As long as it builds successful, uh, we're good to go. It won't run yet. We're going to have to move some DLLs in where our EXE is. So to do that, you'll have to do this every time you create a new SDL project. We're going to go to our SDL2 folder, go into the bin folder, and copy this sdl2.dll copy back up and if, if you don't know where your project is you can right click on your project hit properties click
click on general up at the top here and it will show you the folder that you created this in. So I'm going to go there now. And inside your folder, click on dist, debug, MinGW windows, and you should see your exe in here. You can right click and paste that DLL and then your program should run just fine. We get our red window for two seconds and then it closes out. And you can also run it from NetBeans as well. Just hit play now. And with that DLL there, you should see your red window. In the next video, we will rearrange some of this into a, a little bit more structured format. And I'll show you how to bring in the SDL2 image library. And we'll try to get some PNGs on the screen.